Welcome at uh, SAM, CNC Exotic Mushrooms. Uh, we're now developing our uh, new site, the Hedel site. We moved it from Hedel to Herenwaarde uh, to make sure that we um, get all focus on one site, one logistics center, raw materials coming in. Um, the traditional site, Hedel, focused with the traditional mixers and the Herenwaarde site with the vacuum mixers. Vacuum mixers, it's uh, something similar to spawn production. Yeah, you have. yeah, yeah. But until now, we're the only ones producing mushroom substrate with it, because we've got the uh, patent on it. So here we're going to place four mixers. Pasteurization system, it's another sterilization system. Okay. So you got two sets of mixers. It's like and auger inside. And all piping and stuff like that. So we have to be steam connected, water connected. So this, this is just a, the, the first setup. Uh, but this is the same setup as we use in Hedel. Have a spawn feeder on the screw, and afterwards it will be packed into bags. And this is manual packing, and what we do on the other side is automated packing. It's all data-based. Uh, at least all the mixers in in, uh, in the Heere Water plant are all uh, data connected, so we can see all production flows, uh, steam pressure, air pressure, uh, temperatures, profiles, uh, which which so it's fully traceable. So that's why we want to know the feedback from the grower and then going into detail. Okay, root case analysis. What aspect do we have to uh, pick up to, to improve our quality? And quality comes first, that's, that's the main idea. Okay, now starting at the beginning, we've got our sawdust uh, placed outside. Is this some sp uh, special sawdust or? We only can use hardwood, so oak or beech. Mm -hmm. And pine, uh, pine species aren't suitable for uh, production. It, it deteriorates too quick in our process. Mm -hmm. So we need a hardwood species to, to produce uh, substrate. Now we start with a big hopper. So the, the hopper is, is uh, fed with, uh, with beach. Every charge that we produce is weighed. So all processes are on load cells. So we can uh, get our recipes as uh, specific as possible. Um, we got our sawdust outside coming in with a conveyor belt. And then we add the other materials. Uh, so we've got uh, straw pellets. Uh, we've got some specific recipes on our, uh, on our feed silos. Everything is fed into the conveyor. And then we move it up to the, uh, to the mixers. Mm -hmm. And this is a um, yeah, fairly, fairly simple setup. Simple but effective. We've got an automated system. Um, and it goes with a PLC uh, computer. and it, makes our recipe and um, make sure that we continually get the same recipe on each mixer, on each batch. The initial recipes ca came from uh, Berg Rademakers uh, and afterwards we, uh, we adjusted some, uh, some components uh, because there is a true difference in pasteurizing and sterilizing. So uh, before we had to use some ingredients to, um, to, to, to handle the bacterial infections. But in the sterilization process, the temperature is a bit higher. So there's less bacterial infection than on uh, um, pasteurization systems. So we're now doing a lot of tests with alternative raw materials um, to get a, a better structure in the substrate. So the, 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 the mycelia ingrowth improves with better substrate um, and better structure, and also trying to get in a bit more um, moist a bit more water content, especially for improvement on the oyster types. So the oyster types need a bit more water than shiitake, so we, we're trying to get some uh, more specific recipes per mushroom species. Uh, we've got a, a double set of mixers, uh, two vacuum mixers. It's a vertical, uh, vertical mixer setup. It's, uh, until now, I think it's, it's unique, unique in the way of making uh, substrate. And it's a, it's a seven-step process where we start with um, feeding the mixers with sawdust and feed, um, pulling a vacuum on it, so vacuum technique, and with the vacuum we can heat up the process fairly quickly. Then we um, have a certain time, uh, the holding time as we name it, and then we start sterilizing it, and the product is heated uh, 120 degrees plus for a certain amount of time. So the sterilization phase, then we start uh, cooling it down, vacuum technique and also uh, a cooling jacket with very cold water, trying to get an optimum temperature. 
and with that op optimum temperature we start emptying the mixer and when we empty the mixer we add spawn to the substrate and pack it in line. We know how much uh, kilos of steam we inject, uh, the kilos of, uh, of substrate and sawdust that go in and then it's a continuous process that is followed up with a PLC technique. We started uh, using it uh, January 22, so almost one and a half years now. Yeah, we did have some, uh, some startup issues, but now getting more and more into the details. We did a big risk analysis on it, and we added some, uh, some systems to make sure that we keep uh, a certain um, quality level. So we added a big air filtration system, we added the water filtration system, uh, extra cooling capacity, extra chiller capacity on the cooling mantle, but also on the ingredient water, uh, to make sure that it's as, as hot as possible but also that we can cool it down as quick as possible to get a certain cycle time. Now this is one of our uh, shiitake incubation holes. We grow uh, in between 10 and 14 weeks. And also one uh, big advantage of this system is that we mix in the spawn. So the spawn and the substrate are thoroughly mixed uh, before we stack them onto the trolleys. And if you would compare it uh, with an incubation system, an uh, autoclay system, then it's, it's Packed, shuffled a bit, uh, but then um, spawning is done afterwards. So the ingrowth goes with two points most of the time, and it takes a lot, of, a lot longer to grow in. And here it's already mixed in, so the, it starts up a bit quicker. So this is the shiitake, and I will filter on top so it can breathe out the carbohydrates. The carbohydrates are CO2. But the general view on shiitake is 95% um, yield at the moment. This is a ringi, starting to develop, fairly young ones. These are a bit older, but at the moment there's a lot of uh, demand on, um, on the ringis, especially at the end of the year. Yeah, no, we, we are developing a new um, educational system, training plan for our operators. So we put out all EPLs, a one-point lens that we've got. We're trying to get them in a sort of a roadbook where everybody's trained in, in a certain and the same way to make sure that we keep, again, yeah. So and everything qualities first. So this is what we do. Perfect, nice and big. Yeah, it is. It's about uh, 26,000 square meters, so 